John's calling me to try answer. No. Put on the speakerphone. John, can put him on the speakerphone. Hey, John, you're on Brick Man TV right now. Fantastic. Can you uh, can you do an intro to the episode? Uh, hey everybody, it's Brick Mania TV, starring me on the phone. How's that? Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, it couldn't have been any better. <laughs> Thanks, John. Okay, Thanks, John. Hey, Brick Maniacs, welcome back. Today I'm joined with Cody. Welcome back again. Welcome again, back. welcome back. And Cody, you have an all new, redesigned, all new Abrams. I have an all new, redesigned, repurposed. Yes. Dumb Abrams. What? A dumb Abrams? Dumb. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have an all new Abrams design for us. Yeah. We're, a, uh, you're taking a step back. Taking a step back from being overboard. Overboard. No, we don't go overboard. We do. We do. Medium board. <laughs> um, we meet expectations. Okay, I yes. Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Probably meeting expectations. <laughs> meeting of. your expectations since. Um, um, so, this, you had a previous version. Yeah. That was, what was the previous version? Uh, previous version was the M1A2 Abrams, and this is also an M1A2 Abrams. Um, so, the other one had the Tusk and Crow system. Mm -hmm. uh, that was like the most modern you could get out of it. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot of rare brick arms, yes. uh, brick arms prototype parts, and a lot of extra added armor. Mm -hmm. And that was really limiting for uh, production. So we couldn't make all too many of them. I think we made maybe 150 in total. Um, so this is... So now you have a, it's a simplified, but this is kind of the more uh, kind of quintessential Abrams, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it serves uh, a lot of purposes and it's, what did you say it was? It was re. Uh, re. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. The I don't word. know. I forgot the word that you I, said. I like, don't remember what I said. Repurposed. Repurposed. Is that what it was? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> we took some stuff off, but I also included cool stuff. Oh. So oh. removed some things, added some things. Right. Maybe maybe better. before we go too deep into the kit, why don't you explain a little bit? Give some a little bit of history. Let's go deep into the kit. So some history on the Abrams. Uh, this is obviously not our first version of the Abrams, mm -hmm. but it was uh, in service in 1980. It was developed in the 70s, and it was used in the Gulf War, the Operation Desert Storm, and in the Iraq War. Still currently in use. Um, of course, there have been some updated versions. I think I mentioned in the last video, maybe like the SEP-3 or the SEP-4 would be some of the most modern. Um, actually, I believe classified as the C and D models now. Ah. Um, and that's just technological improvements. Not a lot has changed visually on the tank over the years. Um, it was developed with a 105 millimeter gun to start off with. Now it has a 120 millimeter gun, Dang. smooth bore gun. Changes in ammunition. So this would be the 105 version. No, it's be 120 mm. This is the version. okay. This is the one. Yep. Right on. And packs a punch. It's got the uh, 1500 horsepower multi fuel. Multi fuel turbine engine. Runs on kerosene. Runs on whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> That's cool. Runs on sweat. I don't know about that. No. Okay. Uh, All the eagle tears. Yeah. It's uh. It's an Abrams tank. I mean, yeah. What? Who doesn't know about the Abrams tank? One person slowly raises. Camera guy doesn't Camera know. Camera guy slowly <laughs> raises. <laughs> what? Oh, not me. Uh, has two 7.62 machine guns as a secondary arm armament. Yeah, check those out right on top. And we have the Brick Arms M240B. Uh, I believe. I don't know if that's still proto. I think it's still a proto Brick Arm. Oh yeah. Someone will correct us. So it's a little more of a rare Brick Arm. We don't sell that on its own. Um, so it'll be here for the gunner, mm -hmm. and then we also have a 7.62 millimeter machine gun represented there, right next to the main gun, and then the M2HB on top for the commander. Right. And on the last version, I had the crow system there, 
and they also had another M2HP mounted on top yes. of so this. This, gun. Is a, this is a bit stripped down, but yep. it's still. I mean, this is. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's no joke. Uh, that's yeah. That's some serious firepower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smoke dispensers here. Uh, it's got a nice sloped armor. It's a pretty sturdy build. There's no issues. No issues. <laughs> no oh. issues. You can pick it up from the front, pick it up from the back. And I also included a squishy suspension. That's it's the thing squishy. I added that I didn't have before. What? It's squishy. Yeah. It's squishy. So it's squishy, uh, the technical term that they use in the military? Yeah. <laughs> With tactical squishy suspension. Yeah. So it... I think that helps the track roll a little bit better. Sure. Um, of course, anything with a skirt on it always tends to pinch the track lengths. So yeah, you have to be really careful when you're lengths. building it. Make sure everything is nice and snug put together. It's, it's easy just to get a little pull out. Yep. So, and that's just for on the slick surfaces. Sure. That you need to do that. Still does roll on carpet or on a piece of paper. I mean, obviously you can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I don't think last time we had any printed elements aside from the figures. And uh, so we have these printed panels on the front armor of the turret. And and they also have panels on either side of the turret and on the back of the turret. And I guess these are used to give certain locations of the tank a different heat signature. Sure. So they don't succumb to friendly fire. Mm, so it's, it's an easy way to spot uh, which tank is your own tank. Very cool. Put those so panels on there. So I figured we'd include that because most of the time you do see that. Uh, the most recent Abrams that we did last year mm -hmm. uh, didn't include that because sometimes I just didn't see it. Right. But this is kind of an all-encompassing version of the Abrams tank, so you can use it for uh, the Iraq War if you want, and you can put the Delta on there as a sticker um, wherever you want, probably just on the skirts. That is included in the sticker pack. Oh, there's, so there's a sticker pack with this one as well. Yep. Yeah. And there's also a sticker right here and in, inside of there. And then, of course, on top, stud light. Stud light. <laughs> there's always a cooler on an Abrams. It seems to always be a blue cooler on an Abrams. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this time, uh, Lennon had the idea to. Uh, did I have the idea? Or Slam. Out? Slam put that one on there. I, I think we've been talking about stud light forever. Though. Slam did the sticker and printed artwork for this, but. I don't, I don't know if you came up with the idea for the, for the stud light, but... Sure. Maybe Slam, maybe Lando. <laughs> we all came up with the idea. Yes. Um, yeah, so this is, again, we're kind of keeping this, this uh, kit. This is a more simplified version. Mm -hmm. um, not a whole lot of ton, not tons of frills, um, but... Um, it's a lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. <laughs> a lot cheaper. A lot more affordable. It's, it's cheaper even than the originals that have been made oh, wow. um, by Dan in the past. Wow. Very cool, very cool. Uh, no figure with the kit, but we are releasing a figure as a standalone because I understand that a tank might not be in everyone's budget, but you know, a figure is pretty awesome. So mm -hmm. this is this uh, figure originally debuted with the previous Abrams that you put out. Yeah, with the two guys in there. Yeah, two guys. So this is that same tanker uniform. You got that um, protective vest. You got those those uh, signature tanker boots. And then this time I just put a simple balaclava with kind of just some blacked out lenses on there. And a multi, and multi cam like OCP, yes. Operational <laughs> camouflage pattern. Nice. Um, yeah, so I'm super happy with how it turned out. And still a, a really solid figure. Originally only available in a kit. Now you can get it as a standalone, which is super cool. That so, is super cool, because then you can put, you can buy two and put two in the tank. Yeah. If you want, or you can buy one and put them in the tank. Or you can buy none. Or you can buy you none. You should buy one, no. tank. Yeah. I mean, I guess when you're in the tank, you're kind of like <laughs> in the tank. Yeah. So, you don't really, I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, anything else you'd like to note about this kit? Check out that box over there. Oh, whoa. We got a box. What's this? Cool. Hey, it's this thing, box. only it's on here. It's that thing, but then That's how also, boxes work. That's a cool render on the back Ooh. side. It's pretty darn realistic, I would say. That's sweet. That is a render, right? Camera guy? Heck oh. yeah. <laughs> fooled Cody. Fooled me. It actually, it actually had a glance. They fooled me as well when I was looking at it on the uh, designer screen. So, right on, Amanda and camera guy. Pretty rad stuff. Pretty rad. Cool, Cody. I think I that's. It. I think that's it. Yeah. Um, Cody, where should they go if they want more information on this kit? To the internet. To the internet. That's where you get any information that you ever could want. Specifically, 
Brickmania. Oh, Brickmania.com. Dot com. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe on this channel. And ring the bell. If you have not already. Okay, cool. That is the episode. Thank you very much for watching.